Hi there. Welcome to Four Heather Way. I'd like to show you around. Entrance hallway was moved from the left hand side of the building to the centre. Make it more central to the home. The lounge as you come through the doors. A double set of doors. Which open up into your TV area. Oak shelving. We spoke. Lighting behind. Spotlights which dim, which go all the way around the room to create a cinema room. We've carried the floor right through the home, which is an LVT similar to Carndine with a border pattern around the outside running 45 degree angle back into the hallway of the cloakroom wall hung toilet porcelain tiles boxed in pipework Vanity unit with mirror. Great outlook onto the front of this property also. Just as good as the back. This is the kitchen. Again, same flooring runs through. All integrated appliances. Handleless kitchen. This is a Howden's kitchen with a quartz countertop. I'm not sure if you can see the small diamond chips in the worktop there. All new double glazing throughout, all to match. In the kitchen, we have a composite sink with a hot water tap on the left hand side. That's a boiling hot tap. Integrated fridge freezer, double oven, induction hob, extract ventilation which goes out through the roof. In all the rooms we have USB sockets of some kind in some places. There's some oak shelving up here with a small oak breakfast bar. Breakfast area or dining area, whichever you prefer. And have the bins down on to the side. We also have a, a cupboard here, which we use for the Hoover. Um, it also houses the uh, main consumer unit for the electrics. And this is the rear spare room or family room. Could be used as a dining room. This room was built in place of the previous garden room, which was unusable. All new warm roof insulation, new screed floor. Again, USB sockets in various places throughout this room. In here, we've housed the washing machine and tumble dryer. We decided to do this instead of the utility. And we have a full height, fully stocked, covered in the corner, which I won't show you too much more of. The flooring in here is an engineered board, like an old wood style with the grain. And you have a corner window looking out onto the garden. Full rewire, full replumb, all new heating, new combination boiler, high output. Um, in the garden, 
I've completely redesigned it. We have Indian sandstone patio in a gray with a block pavered edge, all new turf, which has now been down about a year. We extended to the rear of the bedroom and we put an outbuilding office at the back. Have some decking, some black decking in various places. Some matured garden, as well as some new. And we have the hot tub area. With seating and decking. Hot tub runs on a 32 amp supply. So it will be hot all year round. You could leave this open in the winter if you wanted to. Uh, it would still stay at 40 degrees. We've decked all around the side of that. And there's an access panel at the top. New fence at the rear, which runs all the way around. Again, all new windows. This is the office building. It can be accessed via the side path through the side gate next to the shed and small building compound I've made at the side, which will be removed. We have Cat 6 cabling going to the office as well as power and heating. Cabling works for internet. Um, we used this room previously, whilst the build was going on, as a lounge. It's quite sizable, four meters by three. I work from here currently, two people usually, until COVID took over, uh, every day. We have external lighting throughout quite a few of the soffits at the front, um, above the master bedroom, you can see them there, and above the bifolding doors, which are aluminium dry powder coated with blinds. All new doors and carpentry, all new plastering throughout. As I say, great front outlook. Just as nice at the front as it is at the back. As with a lot of Edgecombe Park. Fortunately with this garden, we're um, lucky to have a self-facing room. A self-facing garden. This is the main bathroom. All new tiles, porcelain with a wood border, a nice step up into the bath. Wall hung vanity unit, that's all that over there. We also have black towel rail on the door, it's connected to the heating system. Frosted window front aspect. We've got an 800 by 1800 mil bath in here, so it's quite a large bath. We also have dimmers on the bathroom. You turn the lighting down when you're in there. This is the smaller of the bedrooms. Currently my daughter's room. We've got a wallpaper to the end wall. All new carpets, all new plastering, decorating. Even with the stud walls in this property, we took most of them out um, and replaced them with new stud work, new insulation for soundproofing and for insulation between the rooms. Make it more efficient. Another 
bedroom here. Again, new carpet throughout. New blinds, all the blinds you see in this will be included with the property. Again, good size double. Good high standard of finish. Here we have the master bedroom. Made this into a master suite with ensuite on the entrance. Dressing area at the end of the room with an oak shelf will be included. Decided to put patio doors onto the uh, master bedroom. It's a nice feature in the morning when you go and have your breakfast on the little bit decking outside. This is the master ensuite. Again, wall hung toilet. Push button on the top. Porcelain tiles throughout. We went for a wood effect tile here. Very good lightness of wood. All new shower fittings. Double shower. With rain shower head and flexible hose. All integrated. And your vanity unit, which has a toilet roll holder on the side. As you can see, we haven't stockpiled, so we have no toilet roll on it. Apologies for the terrible joke. Again, blinds all to be included. There's switches on the external for the external lighting is here, which will work for the soffit lights. Outside on the small terrace for the master bedroom. Large full height cupboard in the corner with top storage. We have switches to the sides of the beds, both sides, which will turn on the dimmed lighting. So we have spotlights in here, which we can slip, split and switch separately to the central light. And then the dressing area. King size bed fits nicely in here. Good access for it. That's the hallway you can see the floor follows all the way through. I'm gonna leave through here. Time is for video is currently twelve fifty two. Uh, you can see the sun on the garden. You don't tend to get this much in can Park, we get a south facing garden without trees in the way. I'll take you through the side access. Excuse my building rubbish here. And a compound, quite a large compound down the side there. Thank you very much for viewing my home. If you have any questions at all, please feel free to get in contact. I hope you enjoyed the video. I hope to speak to you soon.